So Yolanta, you asked me why I think it's important for a puppy to stand still or be still when you ask. And I, I think that there's a lot of reasons. Um, sometimes being able to look at a puppy's conformation when they're young or if you're doing other stuff, if you want to examine their teeth or a veterinarian wants to look at them, asking a puppy to be still is something that should be reasonable to do. So what I do with a puppy, first I have to show them what I want and then I can expect them to do it. Um, usually so that I know if a puppy's relaxed or not, I hold them between the front feet, under the neck, and between the back legs so they're completely supported. And you can tell that this puppy is real relaxed. I mean, she's, um, her muscles are relaxed, she's very trusting. That's the first thing I do. The next thing I do when I want a puppy to stand still on a table is I show them where the back of the table is. They need to know that there's a danger zone here. I'm being very supportive of her, I'm holding her, but um, I'm going to use this while I'm trying to ask her to stand still. And then I place her on the table, and when they do something like this, being able to push back on them makes them want to keep their feet under them. Just stand their feet up. Ask them to be still. And I praise them. I'm scritching her under the neck. I'm making her feel very comfortable. When she's doing what I want, everything is good. Now this puppy is being really good, and I think we'll look at one that maybe isn't so good, but if she wouldn't, I would press back on her. If she knows where that edge of the table is. You can see how she's resisting being pushed off the back of the table because she wants to stay where it's safe and where she's making me happy.